Hello fish keepers and welcome to Royal Fish Aquatic. Today we're going to be talking how I'm going to start trying to create my own line of sword tails. So stay tuned and I'm going to show you the first steps of what I'm trying to do to create my own line of sword tails. So fish keepers, in here I have five female bumblebee platies. So I am trying to create my own line of bumblebee sword tails. So what I did, I purchased a couple young bumblebee platies and I've been having them in a 10 gallon container for a little bit over 60 days just to make sure 100% they're virgins or they haven't been hit at all. So I had them in here for 60 days in a 10 gallon. Right now they're in the specimen cup or specimen container just to show you how they look. But I had them a little bit over 60 days and none of them have gotten, none of them been pregnant. None of them gave birth, so they haven't been pre-hit. Two of them are pretty, pretty young, like the two on the right hand side. They're, you know, kind of young, the other three they're about the size that they're ready to be breeding so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put them back in their 10 gallon and I'm gonna show you what type of sword tail from the research I have done you should use to try to create your own line of sword tails so they'll keep the color of the platy but they'll be bigger and have the swords all the males will have the swords some people call them a sword hybrid it's a sword tail. This is how all new lines of sword tails have been created. You gotta put just female platies and male sword tail together for them to breed because they're they are part of the same genomes family. So if you put them in an environment of survival where they have to multiply, the male will finally will breed with the female platies because they're part of the same genos family. So let me grab the male and let me put the females in the tank, back in the tank, and I'm gonna show you the male and I'm gonna introduce this male to these ladies and hopefully these girls will get pregnant. So keepers, look, this is a giant green sword tail or king sword tail. He is huge. Look at the sword on him. Beautiful, beautiful sword tail. So this is the male I will introduce to my female platies and hopefully we can start creating our own line of swords. You see, you want to use a green sword tail because the green sword tail, the majority of the babies will not come out green. They'll have the color of the mother. But the males will have the sword. And then you gotta keep select breeding generation after generations to create your own line of sword tails. So this is step one, or really technically this is step one and two. First, find some nice females make sure they haven't been hit by any male platies I say at least 60 days if they don't have babies in 60 days they're good and then find you a beautiful specimen of a sword tail you want a nice green sword tail and I want to use the king sword because I want them to be a big sword tail I want them to be a real large bumblebee sword tail hopefully they can keep the black face like the like the bumblebee platies they'll have and get a nice black marking on the tail like the green sword but have that nice yellow and black markings throughout the body so I'll be selectively taking all the babies growing them out picking out the next breeders so I'm going to be doing constant updates on this for you guys 
This is gonna be a nice series I'm gonna be doing, trying to create my own line of sword tails. So I'm gonna put him in the tank and let him enjoy his new tank with five ladies. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, subscribe. Especially if you want to learn more on how I am going to be doing these sword tails. Comment if you have any comment. If you have ever done this before, let me know how it worked out for you. Hit that like button and please caress that notification bell. And like always, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Y'all have a blessed day.